And it requires a little bit of a setup because it's a Christmas poem and obviously it's a hot July day. Um, but um, I was, I had written this on uh, Christmas Eve 2015. It had sat buried and I heard Donald Trump this week uh, um, uh. speaking to a giant conference of Boy Scouts and in between bashing uh. Obama and talking about his friend that made enough money to buy a sex yacht, he had mentioned that he wanted to, this holiday season, force everyone to some degree to say Merry Christmas as opposed to Happy Holidays. I don't know how he would do this, and it terrifies me to think of how he would, but um, I had actually written a poem about Donald Trump that had wishes people a Merry Christmas, so I thought it would be a perfect uh, opportunity uh, um, to read it. Now, it seems like most of you aren't Trump fans, but for those of you who are, I just want you to all remember that we're beautiful, unique creatures in this amazing clockwork universe. <laughs> and uh, I love you all, and please don't slash my tires, because I have so little. <laughs> this, is, um, this poem is uh, appropriately named um, December 24th, 2015. Twas the night before Christmas, the hour was late, and a fascist named Trump was spewing his hate. He cursed Mexicans, Muslims, black activists too, and not a single word he was saying was true. But his insults were scathing, his rhetoric loud, and soon he amassed an intolerant crowd. Angry fanatics with beliefs that were resolute. Some greeted Trump with a Nazi salute. Uh, uh. The more offensive the statement, the greater the cheers. Trump exploited mistrust and played on people's fears. His opponents found themselves ridiculed and maligned by a bully who some praised for just speaking his mind. And with polls numbers up and, the, and bigotry on his side, Trump grasps for the country that we all reside. It is not too late in this season of peace to tell demagogues that their malice must cease. We must come together as a strong, diverse nation and reject the leadership that calls for segregation. This country's got problems, but we can still be the home of the brave and the land of the free. Don't let some would-be tyrant define who we are. We've accomplished so much. We've traveled so far. So let's end this cycle of perpetual fright. A Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Wow.